So often I hear people say that wearing a glove two in the pinky is either the best thing in the world or nobody should ever do it. Let's go ahead and break down every position, talk about two in the pinky, traditional, which one is better, what are the pros, what are the cons. I recommend staying the whole video, soaking it all up, and you'll be able to help your teammates out in the future. Just to be clear, wearing the glove two in the pinky means there's two fingers in this slot, one and one, and nothing right here. I'm gonna refer to this as two in the pinky uh, shift, shifted, shift style. Traditional is when you have just one finger in each slot. When you go shifted, you're gonna have a deeper pocket, a stronger close, like it's gonna be tighter. You'll have more control moving your glove left, right, up, down, less stingers actually. And as a bonus, it's actually easier to break it in when you have two in the pinky. But there's also cons to it. So the big thing, you have less feel for the ball. You might make that diving play and you kind of don't even know if it's in your glove yet. You look, oh, yes it is. One of the cons would be that the glove is made to be worn traditional. So you could argue that it's just wrong to do it any other way. I get what you're saying, but I would be open to learning something new. This isn't positive, it's not negative. Your hand is gonna stick out actually a good amount. This is me going two in the pinky, and then this is me traditional. Way less of my hand is showing. It's a little bit different. It feels like the glove is gonna fall off, but it won't. So that means that the pros of wearing your glove traditional is you're gonna have more feel for the ball, and like we said, you're wearing it how it was made to be worn. Second base and shortstop. This is actually the hardest position to give like a definitive answer to, but we're gonna figure out what is gonna be best. Everyone needs to decide on their own if they want more or less feel for the ball. In the middle infield, you would typically want to have more feel for the ball so that you can have quicker and smoother transfers, and a shallow pocket is good for that because you have less of a chance of losing the ball. That makes it sound like traditional is the easy answer, but hang on. By shifting your fingers, you actually have more control left right up down so should you be prioritizing control of your glove or the feel for the actual ball now if your glove has a deep pocket i'd recommend that you go ahead and prioritize feel because you want to feel the ball more if you go to in the pinky with a deep pocket you're not going to feel anything the other hand if it's shallow like this here look at that there's not much room for that ball whatsoever that's why i'm going to in the pinky with this glove to have a little bit more control, but I still have feel. In the end, neither way is wrong. You just need to continue to use your glove, especially if it's a new one, and figure out if it's better to go two in the pinky, traditional. Playing catch will help you, yes, but I really recommend actually taking ground balls and trying both ways. By the way, if you're a baseball player, go ahead and subscribe. We obviously cover defense here, but we just love baseball. Now catchers, this is gonna largely, largely depend on your glove. It's simple, if you have a really deep pocket already, I would recommend going traditional. This here is like a Japanese model catcher's mitt. It's so deep that if I went to in the pinky, I wouldn't even be able to tell if the ball's in there whatsoever. On the other hand here, my Wilson is actually somewhat shallow, so I'm already considering going to in the pinky. The hardest part is kind of getting the glove used to it because it's super, super tight on my finger. It might sound dumb, but I don't blame you if you go two in the pinky just because your pitchers are throwing really hard. Two in the pinky and I'd index finger out, like clear out here. Like, I wasn't even on the finger pad anymore. Yeah, totally. Just so I could avoid just getting blasted by a 94 mile an hour fastball. Yeah. Next. People might start getting angry because I have a strong opinion for our outfielder. Every single outfielder should at least try to go two in the pinky. And if you try and you fail and you just can't do it because it's too uncomfortable, I guess it's just your loss. You will have more control, a tighter squeeze, and a deeper pocket. No negatives whatsoever. Your job is to catch the ball either off the ground or in the air, and you just have to get it back into the infield. Transfers do matter, yes, but you aren't making glove flips and you're not throwing the ball from your heels. You're always gonna be taking the extra step to make a good, strong throw, so the extra depth in your glove is not gonna hurt you. All right, first baseman. And no, I did not forget about our third baseman. Just hang on. A lot of it has to do with your actual glove itself, but I definitely lean toward two in the pinky rather than traditional. By wearing the glove two in the pinky, you're gonna have a tighter close, meaning you're gonna lose less balls, and that's really, really helpful for scoops and picks. The last thing you ever want is for a ball to go in and out. So when it comes to picking the ball and scooping the ball, you're gonna have a deeper pocket and more strength to actually secure it. I'm gonna explain something, and it actually applies to every single position. If you have a cheaper glove often it has looser leather that likes to sink back further sometimes with those gloves going to in the pinky might not be the best thing because it's way too dramatic like way too deep a glove like this on the other hand this is 44 this denim leather is even like kind of extra stiff so going to in the pinky just makes sense there's no perfect answer but just be aware of the quality of the leather itself pitchers you can literally wear the glove however you want it really doesn't matter. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but it's true. You can try this, maybe even try this, or on the pinky. Whenever you're playing third base, your first thought should literally just be to stop the ball. If I were playing shortstop, I would approach the ball like this, smoothly fielding and transferring at the same time. Whereas at third, I'm trying to secure the ball first, then transfer, 
then throw. So for third, this ends up looking like a one-handed fielding style. So rather than having open like this, it's more like you're kind of coming in, picking the ball up, transferring and going. You can play third in different ways, but generally goal number one, stop the ball. So knowing this and realizing that you're practically never gonna make a glove flip, I definitely lean toward two in the pinky. But you have to keep in mind that the greatest defensive third baseman ever wears his glove traditional. I actually did an entire breakdown on Nolan Arenado and his glove, and he just won his 10th gold glove in a row. 